What's up, Thetics Athletes? Today I'm gonna to show you an eight minute workout that's gonna replace your treadmill. The treadmill is a great tool, but not everyone has one or access to one. And with today's routine, I'm gonna show you why you may not even need one. Now, depending on your age, gender, height, and weight, the calories you burn performing an exercise will vary. But on average, a 20 minute treadmill session at two to three miles an hour will burn around 80 calories, while an eight minute HIIT workout will burn around 120 calories. Not only is that almost 50% more calories burnt, but it's also accomplished in less than half the time as the treadmill routine. And while that same treadmill routine will build little to no muscle, this HIIT workout will build and strengthen all the muscles of your body, increase your athleticism, and have you burn even more calories for hours even after you finish your workout routine because of the afterburn effect that comes with HIIT workouts. But best of all, you can do this routine absolutely anywhere because this workout requires no equipment. All you have to do to properly follow along is download the Phoenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description below. Open up to the YouTube workout section, you should be able to find this routine, and we're ready to get started. The first exercise we're going to start off with is going to be jumping jacks for a nice little warm up. Make some space, lock in for eight minutes, and we're ready to get started. Jumping jacks, let's go for it. Nice little warm up. Pace yourself. We're already halfway there. Just eight exercises. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and it's as easy as that. Next exercise coming up is gonna be switching mountain climbers. So let's get down to the ground. And as you can see, we're also using different muscle groups every single time. Here we go. So we're gonna go one knee to one opposing elbow and keep it moving. So you see we're using different angles as well. Really getting the most out of our time. And being able to engage different muscle groups as well from these different positions and angles, which can be a lot more efficient than a treadmill sometimes. We're almost there, guys, hang in there. Squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and shake that off. Now we're gonna bring up the intensity a little bit with burpees. So if these are too difficult, you can always just get down, do the motion and stand back up, or you can add the jump. If you can do the push up, even better. Pace yourself. We're already at the third exercise. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, should definitely start feeling it by now. Those burpees were a full body killer, but now we're moving on to high plank, low plank. So let's get down on the ground, emphasizing on our arms and our core. From high plank position, we're gonna drop down, and then bring it back up. When we're halfway, we'll start, to, we'll start to switch. So it should look just like this. Keep your core tight. Stay in a straight line. You don't want your hips too high or too low. All right, we're halfway there. Let's start to switch. Start with the right hand now. Squeeze your core every time you come up. 
last 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now we're gonna bring up the intensity again with the switching lunges, emphasizing on our core and our lower body. So we'll start feet shoulder width apart, take a step forward, take a step back, let's switch. Now if you have bad knees, you can always walk this one out. Everyone else, try to give it some intensity. Remember, we're trying to replace the treadmill. Way there, keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Two and one. Whoo! All right, should definitely be feeling your abs and your lower body. Coming up next, we're gonna keep emphasizing on those areas with high knee taps. And this is another one that's gonna burn hella calories. So we wanna bring our knees nice and high. Boom, and bring them up. Keep that intensity going. Tap your knees. Squeeze your core. Almost there. Stay strong. Breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Regulate your breathing. Last 10 seconds, here we go. Five, four, pick it up. Three, two, and one. All right, we just have two more exercises to go. Coming up next, we have open and close in and outs, which is gonna be another full body shredder that burns tons of calories. So let's go ahead and get into push-up position. From here, we're gonna jump in, jump back out of push-up position, feet out, and feet back in. Keep it going. Remember, what makes this difficult is the intensity at which you perform each exercise. So if you do feel a bit fatigued, you can always slow down, but don't stop. Save that for the rest. We only have one more exercise after this. Squeeze your core. Halfway there, keep those hips up. Squeeze the grip on the ground. Whew, we are dripping in sweat now. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we are down to the last and final exercise. Dripping in sweat in just seven minutes. Let's finish off strong with squat taps, emphasizing on our core and lower body. So for this last exercise, we're gonna squat down, tap the ground, come back up, just like this. You can alternate your hands. Try to be explosive with it. We are dripping sweat now. Let's keep it going. Finish strong. Go deep and explode out. We're halfway there. Give it everything you got. This is it. Let's go. Squeeze that core. Last couple reps. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. There we have it, drenched in sweat in just eight minutes. And I feel a crazy pump from my upper body, core, and lower body as well. Definitely don't feel this pumped eight minutes after the treadmill, but thank you for everyone that followed along and got through this with me. You're on your way to getting in the best shape of your life, not just looking strong, actually being strong. And the more you do this routine, the stronger you're gonna get. So make sure to come back to this workout video on a weekly basis, and eventually try going for more rounds. To get the most out of this workout routine, you wanna do it for at least two to four rounds. But even doing it one time every single day can be life-changing for a lot of people. So as long as you just get started, start doing it, and stay consistent, everything else will come, I promise you. And the easiest way to do that is just download the Thanks app in the app store 
Store, Google Play Store, or just hit the link down in the video description below, and you can get this workout from your phone, schedule it at any time, as well as full access to all our workout routines, workout programs, and technique guides teaching you the most advanced calisthenics exercises step by step. And as a Thenix member, you'll also be part of our Thenix community of millions of Thenix athletes around the world on the Thenix app, sharing their progress and getting in the best shape of their lives, just like you using the Thenix app. Look at this guys, I'm completely drenched. The pump is real. You can't cheat this, you can't fake this. You gotta put in the work. And if you enjoyed this treadmill workout, check out this other workout that's gonna have you build solid lean muscle while simultaneously getting shredded. And I'll see you there. Mad love, peace out baby.